Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. See from his head, his hands, his feet, sorrow and love flow mingled down. Did e'er such love and sorrow meet, or thorns compose so rich a crown? The story of Jesus' death and resurrection is so well known within the church that we can become numb to the suffering Jesus underwent on our behalf. The crucifixion was a horrendous physical experience for Jesus. He was flogged, mocked and ultimately nailed to a cross and left to die. In the height of this suffering, Jesus cries out to God, Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. What extraordinary compassion! In Matthew 5, Jesus teaches, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. As Jesus prays on the cross, we see him embody this teaching, demonstrating integrity of character and underpinning the very reason for his presence on earth. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Jesus not only forgives those that have brought him to the cross, he petitions his father to forgive their sins, making a case on their behalf for God to forgive the seemingly inexcusable. What an encouragement it is to know that Jesus is willing to forgive this level of sin and to know that when we sin, we have this same Jesus advocating with God on our behalf. I'm struck by the grace shown by Jesus in this moment and challenged by such a perfect model of forgiveness. Next time I am wronged, can I look beyond my own hurt or anger to the spiritual needs of those who wrong me? And can I pray in genuine compassion? Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Above all, I find the emotion of this prayer captivating. The love expressed by Jesus jarring with the pain and rejection he is experiencing. What could be sadder than the creator of earth being rejected and put to death at the hands of those he created? And yet, how beautiful is the love that allowed God in the person of Jesus to submit himself to their will whilst continuing to advocate for their salvation? Did e'er such love and sorrow meet?